mute the conversation. Right. Hello. Uh, this is I was going to say one second before you unmuted the conversation. There's one thing I really wouldn't like to have said. Yes. Yes. This is the United States of America. We have uh, we have fought wars. Um, our country has gone downhill. Things have changed. I don't care if you're Democrat, Republican, Libertarian. It doesn't matter what you are. This isn't about that. This is about freedom. And this is about a freedom that these people have had for hundreds, or 100 years. They've been grazing the same land. I used to live not far from the area where the Bundys are. And it was always free grazed land. Okay, and... Uh, this is nothing more than the actions of a tyrannical government that is trying to control us. Every every aspect of our lives is what they want to control. They're going to take every single freedom that we have from us if we do not make a stand. That is the biggest problem. I mean, they do it a little bit at a time, you know, little teeny, teeny bit at a time, baby steps, you know, because then that as new generations come along, you know, it's just normal to them. There are things that are normal to my children now that, to me, are ridiculous. That's the way the government works. They have all the time in the world. We don't. We have to make a stand now. No matter what, we have to make a stand now, no matter what it takes, no matter what the sacrifice is. This is the time. We have to take our country back. It's going to be too late if we don't do it now. That's all I have to say. I I have to agree with you on that. Amen. And 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 on on that note, uh, I'm a former three percenter. When it was national, we tried to get something up and going, but unfortunately, there were uh, too many chiefs and not enough Indians. Uh, I need to know how I can get into the group here with you guys. I am in the state of Georgia. Uh, I am a part of the Georgia militia site. Uh, I'd like to get on if there's some type of national that I can get on with you guys. And also, let me respond and just just so you know, I am not a member of a militia. Uh, I am not a member of any kind of thing like that. Um, I'm an American Legion member. I'm an American Legion rider. I'm a patriot. And you know what? I don't give a shit about anything. But my children, having more freedom than I had growing up, my mother was 82 years old, and on her deathbed, she said to me, you young kids don't know shit. You know, she was getting a little loopy because she's old and dying. You young kids don't know shit. When I... You have none of the freedoms that we had when when I was a young person, and it goes away every day. You lose your freedoms every day, and one day you're going to wake up and have none left. That's the whole deal with the government. The government is I – mean, they have all the time in the world. We don't. Okay? The, the families that control all the money, that control all the politicians that run this country – they have all the time in the world. They're billionaires. You know, we're just average, normal Joe kind of folk. You know, all we want is a fair shake and, 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 and the ability, the possibility to, to live a decent life, a good life. That's all we want. They're making it impossible for us to do that, and I'm not going to stand for it any longer. So I'm just a, I'm just a dude. I'm a chef. I was a chef my whole life, right? But I'm willing to go to Nevada and stand ground and fight and die to fix this. Can I interject with something? Back on the, the organization for a minute. I got a question for Ryan. This is Hello. Hello? Yeah. Point on this. Who is this? Who? 
Um, <coughs> who? I'm, I'm having a hard time hearing you. All right, guys, it's uh, me again. I had to mute out part of that conversation. Uh, we're getting a lot of feedback. We got a couple new faces that showed up and uh, a couple dozen that left and came back. But uh, I need you to go ahead and press star six. If you're having background noise, if you've got the radio on, you're driving in your car and it's loud with the window down, please press star six now. It's common courtesy to just mute yourself out. Pay attention to what we're saying. We've got uh, Ryan live on the ground. We're still kind of doing a and a session. You guys have been really polite, looking out for each other and uh, not interrupting, but... Uh, and I need uh, a couple people to tone it down in the background and so we can complete this conversation. Uh, we're live for two and a half hours now, and we uh, plan on uh, continuing this for a while, I, I think, as long as anybody wants to stay on this conversation. And, again, I plan on leaving this online. Uh, if you have a pen handy, the playback on this conversation is 559-726-1399, and you press pound 9188, pound, to uh, hear this conversation all over again later. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unmute it. Sorry about the interruption, man. But, again, also, lastly, if you uh, just happen to hear the word mute in the background, it's because you're causing a lot of feedback. Don't be mad. It's nothing personal. Just trying to keep the flow going, guys. Okay, Ryan. Oh, yeah, I've got a question. And, uh, the East Texas Militia, can I have a minute? I know I do it, too, and I really try to... This is Freebird, Watchman of America, checking in. Hey, that's Freebird. How you been, brother? It's Wolfpack. Nice to talk to you, Wolfpack. I miss you, man. Same here, brother. Just checking in. Can I have a minute? Delaware, Go for it. for America, checking in. I'll give you a minute. I'll listen. East Texas Militia. While we are preparing to go to Nevada to take care of things there, we also have an issue on the Red River. Is anyone aware of the, what's going on with the Red River and the BLM? It's a land grab. It's a discussion between Texas and Oklahoma and their border disputes due to the river. In fact, that it moves. The BLM is stating that Texas doesn't have the land that belongs to it. Regardless, the owners have the deed and have paid taxes on it for the last however many years and are planning on grabbing it up just like they're doing the flat and Monday. Hey, this is Smash Paul, Texas Republic Militia. And it, are you saying that uh, it's the same kind of deal, but it just has not gotten the media attention, so nobody knows about it? Is that what I understand? It's the same. It's the same. It's exactly. We have the same thing yeah. going on here in Texas on the Red River. It just hasn't gained as much attention yet. I lived in Arizona for many, many years, and from what I understand, it was all free graze. It was always free graze. It was. Right. I mean, you know, I mean, I mean, look at the terrain there. You have one cow. You need like a thousand acres for one cow to survive because he's got to roam that far to eat enough food to live. So how can uh, land management, you know, start trying to limit that or charge you for that? Gentlemen, it's, it's all a ruse. It, that's exactly what that's it is. Good militia. It's a political excuse to push that man off of that lease so they can open it up for oil industry fracking. They sold 29 leases in northeastern Nevada recently. And they open up public forum about the leases that they're planning to sell. Clive and Bundy is one of the last remaining ranchers still free raising on that land. And they need him off so they can fracking and stand to make millions of dollars. Billions. So they can poison free the Free grazing is legal last I, I heard. Last okay, I heard. Back, back to the organization. Ryan, I've got a question. Yes, sir. I think Roman is on. Can you hear me? I can hear you. Okay. Where is Nevada Militia on this? Uh, that came I'm up not amazing. a member of Nevada Indiana Militia. Indiana. I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'll be like the Tennessee Volunteers coming out. 
Okay, yeah, I, I get that, but I'm trying to figure out what their standpoint is. Does anybody have any information on that? And, and, and you know, it, it's funny you bring that up because I also, uh, I'm curious, uh, you know, about the Arizona border protectors. I mean, you know, they're they're all over the Internet about how they're all about, you know, protecting the border and doing this and working in the desert. And uh, why are they not? Why are they not standing up and ready to jump on this shit? I'm sure they all have their reasons. I mean, the same as anybody else's. Well, all the intel hey. flows around a lot right now, to be honest with you, what I've been sifting through since Monday makes it look like suicide mission. That's why we, we need to get on the same page on intel. And the first place that needs to start is the state militia needs to get involved so they can feed us good intel. Well, then you send us old guys like me in first, because you know what? We're dying anyway. So you know, if, if they, you know, if, if you know, if they kill us first, we take two or three of them with us. Then you know, it, it'll be all good. We'll be martyrs, man. We, we got to do this strategically. We got to do this organized and strategically. It takes a system of command. A lot of tell that it's misinformation. Yeah, my name's Jake. For four years in the U.S. Army, did a lot of counterinsurgency in Iraq, and this is. This is textbook fourth generation warfare. Exactly what they're putting up against you. This misinformation campaign is counter intel. Yeah, a lot of it. Just like uh, uh, the man, Mr. Kent, said, their sites online have been hacked. They were putting out false intel, making it seem like it's a suicide mission. That may or may not be the case, but it's definitely something that's in effect. And uh, I mean, as a nation, we're under attack. From literally every angle, it's, and just like he was saying, it's it's, it's incremental. It will be forever until it's gone. Because the erosion, people don't notice it. It's a slow fade. Their cataclysm, some momentous spark to set off this fight. They know that there will be an uprising, and that's not what they want. That's why they hope we stand down and we stand by. And well, I'm, the bottom line is, American people are fucking pussies. And as long as they pacify the American people, and, you know, we, you know, oh, well, it ain't so bad. Oh, well, yeah, blah, blah. You know, I mean, you know, the American people do not, I mean, your general person is not American people. I mean, your general person is not going to stand up until it gets so bad they have to. They'll never, they, that's why they pacify us with little tidbits and, and do things the way that they do. Because over time, you know, by the time your grandkids are born, uh, like, okay, my kids think that wearing a seatbelt is normal. I never wore seatbelts when I was a kid. I hung out in the back of the station wagon and played games and jumped around and had fun on vacation. Uh, I completely agree with you on that. That what was hey, guys. That, what one generation tolerates, the next one will embrace. And that's completely guys. true. One thing that I have to say, and I've asked to say, and I actually have to go, is that the men that stood on the Lexington Green didn't go there to start a revolution. I guarantee you that was the last thing in their mind that they were going to be the battle that started that. And if it's not us, then who? And if it's not when? All right. Gentlemen, you have a good evening. Uh, hello. Hey, uh, can anybody hear me? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yeah, I can all hear you, Robert. Uh, this is James Neighbors, uh, president of Overpasses for America. Well, I'm, I just got sent the number. I'm not exactly. This is about the uh, Nevada debacle, right? Uh, yeah. Okay, good. I'm on the right <laughs> call then. <laughs> anyway, uh, my name's Nick Estes. I'm from, we're down in South Alabama, uh, ex-Marine Corps. <laughs> what we're dealing with here is, uh, I mean, Nobody's ever sent any information. If we get out there, is there anybody who's showing us quarter who can give us a place to stay? Is there anybody who, you know, I mean, are we just going out to sit on private property? What are we, what are they doing? A little bit of that was covered. And yeah. uh, they, they gave a number where you could, uh, you know, listen to the transcript of everything that's been said. Uh, there is yeah. a, um, apparently a, a place to stay on the Bundy Ranch. There are multiple campgrounds and places like that. What you need to do, without a doubt, is make sure that you are able to secure your family and your own things on your own, as well as 
you know, whatever the offensive might be. So, yeah, you need to take uh, all your gear and um, be ready to go. Yeah, I'm 03 May I, I like Leave the kids at home. I was just... Do what? Leave the kids at home. Uh, yeah, May I speak? Yeah. This has been... Yeah, go ahead. Uh, code go ahead. Go ahead. Let the lady speak. This is Caged Bird OKDF. And there are some of us here in Tulsa who are willing to put travelers up, give water and food. Yeah, that was my main concern because, I mean, you know, I spent a good while over there and, bro, two liters of water don't get you a day. So, I mean, this is this is a lot more than just show up and help out. This is a huge logistical matter. Uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, from what I've heard, uh, I, I came in late on the call. However, I'm uh, I'm fairly certain from what I'm There's heard, a water truck I've heard that that we're going to have water, but we're going to have food, and that's that's not going to be an issue. Um, I would recommend bringing uh, you know whatever food you think you might need, um, like you know bring your bug out bag, you know make sure you got you know what you might need for you know a week or two or three weeks, and. Uh, yes. However, and, on and the there'll road, be supplementary to that as needed. While you're on the road, though, you're going to need places to sleep, food to eat, water to drink. Here, yeah, here in Tulsa, we have we have a a support system for you when you get here. We're we're on I-44. If you're coming down I-44, get a hold of us. I'll leave my ham radio on so I can contact with you all. If you have access to ham, um, the repeater here is 443.850, and I am K5, KF5ZYG. Can you repeat that, 443.850? Yes, 443.850, and my call sign is KS5, that's Kilo Fox Truck 5, ZYG, Zulu, uh, I don't remember why it's G, golf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you just screwed me up. You mind giving that one more time? KF5ZYG. I will have. I will keep my hammer on, and I will keep it on me. It's Zulu Yankee Zulu. KF5ZYG. Zulu Yankee golf. All right, now that we got that straight. At least, her, her and at least one other location in Tulsa um, that will be doing this. Is that Dale? Yes, and uh, you have access to, to uh, Axel, and he also said, with the permission of his wife, that his door is open for people passing through that need to rest as they travel through. Um, both, the, both of the higher members of the OKDF have offered their homes, yes. I actually have a uh, I have a big question I'd like to ask. Okay. Am I uh, am I going to Nevada to end up a martyr, or am I going to Nevada because there's going to be enough of us to make a difference? I really what know the time? Marcus asked. One at a time. I really, uh, either way, I, no, 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 no. Let me finish. Either way, yeah, I'm okay with it. Either way, really, I am. However, I would just hate to show up there and be found in a group of folks who are like, oh, oh, yeah, oh, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I mean, it's we're either we're either going there to take care of business or we're not. Well, that just depends on how chosen corner. You're going to take care of business whether you want to or not. That's human instinct is to survive. Um, as far as are you going to be a martyr or are we going to have some results? That just depends. You know, uh, you start out a few people and there's more. See, they the uh, confirmation of us going, 
then more will show up. Um, if, I, if you okay, how many people are time. left on this call? Do you have a, a registry of that? Do you know how many people are left on the call? Yeah, it's me chiming in again, bro. Uh, we were peaked out at one point at 115. Right now, we're actually back down to 82. Um, you know, I just wanted to chime in and say d this. Uh, you know, Sheriff Richard Max is actually going to be up there by tomorrow afternoon. Um, I would highly recommend getting close to him if you're going to be there, man, or if anybody else is going to be there and working as close as humanly possible with the constitutional sheriffs of that county. I, I heard at one point he backed down, but now he's kind of climbing on board, especially because sheriff's lighting a fire under his ass. Um, I highly recommend doing what you've got to do to get in touch with the sheriffs. The sheriffs are going to be the ones that have a true constitutional authority here. What they say goes, you know, in the spirit of what happened with Richard Mack, um, you know, back in his heyday, so to speak, um, he definitely has faced the uh, Fed before and has won Supreme Court law cases. If the sheriff wants him out, get him out. I think that's who you guys should be sticking to like glue if you're going to be out there, and I highly recommend uh, you pass that word along. Uh, unmuting, brother. Yes. Hey, there's a uh, there's some uh, message traffic coming out from Oath Keepers National that is echoing that same directive. Uh, people that are arriving at the site need to report to the ranch. Uh, identify yourself. Uh, get the the, uh, the uh, sheriffs and the legislators that are there. There's a group of legislators. Uh, arriving there, and uh, Stuart Rhodes, Sheriff Mack, are uh, should be there soon. Um, so, some Arizona uh, representatives are headed that way, also a uh, Kelly Townsend. East Texas. Texas now, what I've seen is uh, they do not want individuals protesting on their own or speaking to the media. They want it controlled through the ranch, uh, through Mr. Bundy, or the legislators, or the sheriff. So um, basically you're going there as a, uh, a, a demonstrator uh, showing support for the legislators and the sheriffs and Mr. Bundy. I will be leaving Tulsa tomorrow afternoon. Uh, headed there, I will be answering, uh, uh, showing up at the ranch to report in, and I will be calling in to whichever militia group is currently in command or assign me to. Can I say something? My name's Joanne. Hi, Joanne. Go ahead. Okay, I'm from the Central East Texas Militia here in Texas. This posted approximately nine minutes ago. It's a break-in report. It reports that DHS mobilizing armed vehicles headed north out of Phoenix, Arizona. So DHS may be headed out there now. You know, I'd highly consider you guys uh, looking at some of the main roads out there and some of the main routes stayed in and stayed out. Um, we should probably keep some points there, you know, watching for federal vehicles coming in, coming out. Um, we've already got a couple of guys that volunteered for Eyes in the Skies out there. Um, we would definitely need to keep in contact with what's going on around the uh, area just as well. So you guys have some pre-warning. Uh, my situation is, is we've got 100, 200, 300, 400 or more people there, and they're not keeping an eye out for what's going on 10 miles out and beyond. Uh, this could be cause for a very precarious situation uh, already developing further than what, what we're at right now and what potentially is going to happen tomorrow. Um, I highly recommend it. I, I personally not going to be out there, but if you guys have the opportunity, once more bodies start showing up, I think we're going to have to call for more scouts and more communications. And uh, if possible, we should even start maybe rallying some sort of uh, funding as destroying this poor man's property, trying to help him out. You know, We're going to need supplies. I think this is going to turn into a sit-in real soon. East Texas, Texas Militia, can I make a comment? Go ahead, East Texas. East Texas Militia feels that with the things that are going on on the Red River right now, 
There are. This is not Wally Brown. Just a thing in this is Brian Nevada. Lang, Lyme, Ohio. Thing. This is Wally Brown, St. George, Utah. I'm only uh, about uh, 50 miles away from the place. Can we get you to watch the main routes out there, brother? I mean, I'm sure you guys got a handful of guys that might be able to kind of, uh, I hate to use the word camp out, but, you know, investigate, uh, you know, the main routes heading in, just any extra traffic than there should be, if you know what I mean. Well, you know, um, I, uh, I've i got an airplane, and, uh, you know, I don't know if and how that resource could be used, but I'm just kind of uh, wondering wondering how it can be used, if you guys have any ideas. Hey, uh, is, is that Wally that was just speaking? Yeah, this is Wally. Uh-huh. What's up, bro? Hey, I, I can see a call ID. I'm going to hang on to your number. Militia. Good to meet you. Who is that from Texas Militia? You guys stepped all over East Texas Militia. He was trying to ask what's going on. Okay. Everybody, everybody right. talk and mute. East Texas Militia. I feel that what's going on in Nevada is also going on here on the Red River. We also have here in Texas BLM stepping in on 90,000 acres of BLM slash rancher land in, on the Red River. Uh, you know, I thought that Texas... I thought the Texas Constitution uh, didn't give any land over the feds. No, what's going on is that the BLM is using eminent domain to seize private property along the Red River. By the way, this okay, is got it, got it. Federal law always trumps state law, even when it's unconstitutional. It seems to. It's, it's not the way it's supposed yeah. to be. It's just what we have allowed. You're right, right. Everybody's back that's, off that's and let us. Sovereignty versus supremacy. We need to stop allowing the it. The thing over Texas is it has to do with water rights, just so you know. Over. That's uh, kind of what's, what I hear is going on up there. It's not about cattle, it's not about the desert tortoise, it's about natural resources under the ground there, from what I understand. Well, it's not It's not only about the, the, what's under the ground, they're also wanting to install a massive solar power plant along with all the fracking that they're going to do along with it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's all about True. control of the energy. That's all, that's what this Hello, is about. James, how are you? Energy. Hey, Brian. Yo. Hey, James. So um, is it is it true that uh, they've kind of um, the the feds have, have locked them out and they can't get uh, groceries in there, food, and the ranch? My understanding is that nobody's allowed in and nobody's locked out. Um, I'm wondering I'm wondering if uh, if I could fly some some food in there. If they have a, a dirt, you know, a, a right there at the ranch, if they've got a dirt road, because I can land on a dirt road, no problem. I, I, I do a lot of backcountry flying, and I land on little dirt strips in the middle of nowhere all the time. So I'm just wondering. Uh, if, you, if, if you get a chance to listen to the beginning of this call, we actually had some uh, topographical uh, uh views of it that we had given out uh, the coordinates earlier and uh, feel free to listen to this call again when you get a chance. Um, okay. You'll pretty much have a general idea of where the range is and uh, you know once you're there I'm praying you don't get droned or shot down man to be honest but uh, you know do what you got to do man uh, you know if you're looking out we'll, you know we'll remember you. <laughs> I hope it works out but I heard there is plenty of food and supplies there at the moment. And uh, I would just urge whoever is heading out there to bring mucho extra supplies outside of their needs. And uh, probably, unless, you know, they're willing to take part of this, probably want to avoid, uh, you know, bringing women and children unless it's absolutely necessary. I'm going to recommend, you know, if anybody can get a hold of some media out there, you might be able to kind of uh, keep the situation on the low ball. You know, we need plenty of people with cameras flowing at all times as well. Uh, wouldn't be a bad idea to start getting the media in on this so that, 
maybe a little uh, truth can be exposed and, uh, you know, hopefully uh, more people get on board in support of the cause. Um, and I would recommend if anybody's willing to take up a pool, um, you know, if you're heading out that way or, you know, even if we can work something out to get it to the, the ranchers themselves, um, or at least people with boots on the ground that are going to need supplies, comms, batteries, more water, et cetera, et cetera. Just throwing that out there. Let me, can I jump well, in here? Can I say something Hello? Real quick? Uh, can I jump yeah, in here? Is somebody talking about the media? Yes. Yes. Um, I write for examiner.com, and I'm also with um, uh, 2 Million Bikers and uh, Uncle Sam's Misguided Children. Um, oh, I know who you are, man. Okay. Yeah, I know you, dude. <laughs> okay. Um, listen, you have pictures, you have stuff you need to get out. Um, you can email them to me, you can Facebook them to me, and I will get it out. <coughs> Go ahead. Uh, you you provide have, your data you now. Can you hear me? provide that data now? Sure, sure. My Facebook, well, if you look up, uh, well, Facebook.com um, slash Joe Newbie 2, J O E N E W B Y 2, um, that's, that's my Facebook page. Uh, or Spokane Conservative Examiner on Facebook. You can message me there to either one of those two. My email address is LJ, that's Lima Juliet, newbie, November Echo Whiskey Bravo Yankee at peoplepc.com. LJ newbie at peoplepc.com. Um, uh, you got information you want to get out to the media. Uh, you you got stuff that uh, you're you're willing to authorize to be put out as a as a story. You want to put out uh, press releases, whatever. Get it to me, and I'll get it out. All right, can I All say right. something real quick? Shoot it. Um, I'll talk to you. This, this, this has just been posted. Marisha or en route to Bunkerville, Nevada. This, this this just came out. Yeah, we know what uh what state specifically. Uh it says uh the, the only location it's got is uh Bunkerville, Nevada. Well yeah, that's where they're pretty much headed, but uh yeah, we, there's definitely a variety of uh, groups that have uh confirmed that they're sending people out and then the ones that are still staying at home have raised DEFCON for the most part. We've actually had by my count, uh half the nation has chimed in today, so that's pretty awesome. Um, as well as many administrators uh, from different groups. Uh, our peak earlier was about 100 and almost 20 at one point here, and we dropped back down presently to just under 80 at the moment. But uh, I see some old familiar names from across the nation that, uh, you know, a big part of the game that have some administrative capabilities that have, uh, you know, chimed in. Uh, I wanted to ask, uh, Mr. Freebird, are you still here? Freebird is yeah. uh, one of the uh, man yes, managers sir, of the ahead. Watchmen Pro. There he is. Hey, Free, thanks for chiming in, brother. Um, you know, I know you're a good resource for comms uh, pretty much nationwide. If you could give uh, your feedback, bro, I haven't heard from you in uh, a few months. I hope everything's going okay with the fan. Hey, everything's going great, brother. Uh, what would you like to know? Uh, I just know you, you usually have communications with uh, other states. Are you uh, familiar with any groups that are currently in that vicinity that we could try to contact? We don't really have a lot of homeboys chiming in right now. We've got every other state wants to know exactly what's going on, but even those reports, although they seem accurate as of now, um, they're they're you know they're out of staters. I, I would just like to hear more about guys within you know that county or surrounding counties if you have any sort of access or the resources to that. Well, we've uh, we've got independent members in Nevada, but they're just basically giving us feedback, same as uh, what's happening you know, down there already. But uh, this uh, this is uh, Dave Lunt's Central Alaska Militia. Um, uh, I don't understand that Oath Keepers has a uh, ham site that is getting installed at currently, uh, and will be blasting out intel to uh, the Oath Keeper National site and distribute it from there. So um, uh, there should be some uh, comms up soon. Can I join in here? Hey, hey. Uh, 
Brian Lang, Lime, Ohio, uh, LiveTruthRadio.com. I've been covering this ever since I heard about it. Uh, we all got to stand together. We all got to unite. We got to have this man's back out there in Nevada along with Charles Strange with uh, the Extortion 17. We got to do what is necessary for this country. Uh, if you have any, if you're a ground zero guy if you're or a girl, uh, I want real time. The broadcast is from 3 to 6, Monday through Friday. Uh, I've been covering it since, well, Wednesday when I first heard about it. Uh, I need ground zero people there to get the word out, and I also take videos and everything to get the word out. Excellent. Listen, guys, I'm going to travel over a 1,000 miles to be there, and I believe within my heart and soul, deep inside of me, what I believe is that uh, uh, as the Constitution of the United States of America stands, that we in this situation, we are authorized to use deadly force. Absolutely. I agree. I agree. Come on, fucking thing. Um, once we routed the BLM in Nevada, are we going to turn around and route them at the Red River, too? Goddamn fucking computer. I mean, my God, do you know how much this sucks? I was going to go to Vegas and, like, hang out, like, have a good time because I had never been there before. But then, you know, the government had to be assholes, and now, you know, now i got to do the right thing, right? <laughs> yeah, that's sucks. Fucking dicks. Can you hear me? Hello? Hey, uh, whoever's having issues with their uh, computer, apparently, could you please press star six so we don't have to hear that again? Hello? Yeah, go ahead, ma'am. Hello. This is Amy White. Uh, I'm the Arkansas administrator from the two million bikers that went to D.C. last September. And I have a biker patriot radio show as well called Bikers vs. Muslims. And uh, you got racket. Uh, bikers vs. Muslims is my show. Y'all have got free reign to come over there and say anything you want. I'm also pushing you on the Internet. We've got like three websites going on where we're supporting you. Somebody posted on Facebook earlier, where are all the bikers? We coming, baby. Okay? We on our way. Oh, yeah. to get <laughs> you know, I have to respond to that because I want to know, too. I'm an American Legion rider out of Indianapolis, Indiana. We have the Legacy Run every year. We have huge rides with thousands of bikers who raise tons of money every year. And okay. none so of the American Legion riders seem to be getting on board with this, and that pisses me yeah. off. Because we're all veterans, we're all yeah, SAL, or... So I want to tell whoever said that a while ago, we need to keep women and children out. Us women got it by the fucking balls when we went to Washington, so y'all let us come off. But uh, I'm in Arkansas. I can't get all the way to Nevada. But uh, I want to tell Yeah, about half you folks had run from my old lady. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, I done been, you know, I'm running so much with this Patriot stuff, I kind of like to stay married. Otherwise, I'd be on my way. But, uh, you know, my husband's about ready to kill me. I'm running all over the country. But... Y'all quit saying this is another Waco. This ain't another Waco. This is the next Fort Sumter. Okay? Uh, Y'all stand to deliver. Y'all don't back down. And if y'all want me to broadcast, by God, I'll broadcast. Uh, All those other bikers that's listening in, one of us needs to get on Facebook and make an event and start inviting everybody. Who who wants to get in here? I'll help y'all do it. I'm in Arkansas. I don't have a lot in Nevada. But, uh, oh my. We, need to have, we need a page on Facebook for the bikers to get to the Bundy Ranch. Can I talk about reality for a second? What yeah. this is truly is reality. And what has it happened is-, is the government has taken baby steps over 30 or 40 years and eroded our rights a little teeny bit at a time to the point where you know, people don't notice their rights are being <laughs> eroded. That's right. And That's it has right. gotten to the point where... You know, we're fucked. We don't have any rights left, and we got to stand up now. If we wait any longer, we're going to be done. Brian, well, this, is, this is Freebird. Since I was interrupted, whenever you want me to give you my input, it's just a, let me know. It's all good. Go ahead, man. I, sorry, we got a little carried away on there. If, uh, you guys could give Freebird just like a couple minutes to kind of explain his version of some what's going on right now. We've... Uh, We've not heard from the Nevada militia 
as far as I mean, there's been reports and YouTube videos by outsiders, but I, I've yet to see the actual command element of any Nevada militia reporting their situation or status in this whole thing. Uh, my input would be this. In situations like this, we've had these before out in the Arizona desert and in other situations across the country. When there's a call out for help and you've got all these militias of various sizes and shapes and states that want to respond, if there is not a central command element in that state... Absolutely correct. ...that... These guys show up, and there is nobody to report to. What you're going to wind up with are no potentially hundreds and hundreds of rogue Fucking militia mess. elements that are going to create a clusterfuck and get people killed here. So th my suggestion would be to find out who, if any, this Nevada militia is and coordinate something with one command element. You're in their state. It's their rules. But you've got to have one person. In, in, you know, one unit uh, correlating and organizing all these other groups, or you're going to create a, a really bad situation down there, guys. Yeah, yeah, you, sir, correct. are exact, a, absolutely correct. You, sir, are absolutely correct, and that is mandatory. There has to be somebody to report to when you show up there. You can't have 500, 1,000 guys run around the desert with their own fucking thoughts and fucking bullshit going on in their head. So let, let's face reality. They'll end this up is, in bad. This is, this is foreign country to most of us from different states. We don't know the terrain. We don't know, you know, everything about the environment. We don't know uh, enough information. You've got to cor correlate with somebody from there, who's got some damn element of control over the situation for Absolutely that Absolutely correct. If you don't have right. that intel, you're fucked. Might I make an a uh, comment on this? Ranch owner, I guess. Can I cut in here? Go, just sir. For a sec. There's a, a report, and I just looked it up to confirm, but that incident in the Red River, it seems to me like the Texas militia needs to stay in their own territory and deal with the issue there. There are several militias in Texas, and there are a couple that are viewing it and keeping an eye on it. I'm not sure what their actions are, but I do know that they are paying attention to it, so they're not all looking to leave. Another if thing to remember in. about Texas is Texas has their own Army, Air Force, and Navy that are not federalized, that are not the National Guard. Well, that's a good thing. But, but if I may I'm chime in, I'm relatively that. certain that the situation that we are discussing on this forum is not occurring in Texas. It's occurring in New Mexico. What? No, it's happening on the Oklahoma-Texas border. And a lot of us from OKDF are actually waiting to see what's going on in Texas. Or, I'm sorry, I said New Mexico, I meant Nevada. Yes. Well, it's happening in five other places, you know, four other places right, right now. I, now. Now, I understand. I understand what you're saying, that this same instance is occurring in multiple locations. This mm -hmm. one location has gained the, uh, you know, the, the attention of social media, media all over the country. It was on Fox News tonight. Um, yes. So, you know what? Uh, I understand and I sympathize with everything else is going, that's going on. However, we have to pick one place <laughs> to make a stand, to make a statement for all of those other people. We can't just spread ourselves thin and be everywhere at the same time. We've got to pick one place to make a stand and be there and show what the American people can do. We, the American people is the biggest army on the face of the planet. There's 400 million of us. Well, 313 million. Can I make a suggestion? Legal. <laughs> Go ahead with your suggestion, sir. Uh, I'm Gary Hedrick from Pennsylvania. I'm prior military. What's going on, guy? Um, you guys are wasting valuable time in not getting a command structure set up. Well, you're actually incorrect, because a command structure has been set up. When you show up as militia, you report to the Bundy Ranch to Ryan Payne, who is the spokesperson between the militias and the Bundy. As far as the Nevada 
militia goes. There are many militias out there that will take no stance on anything. They're just gun clubs or airsoft clubs and the like, and they are being completely silent on it, neither yay or nay for it, and are making no comments, and therefore their points and their beliefs and their desires become invalid. You don't have any uh, sheriff from that area with the Bundys? No, um, Richard Mack is supposed to be heading out that direction, and uh, word has it that he's gathering up or working on gathering up some other CSPOA members and that he's already called the sheriff an unconstitutional sheriff. All right. Which means he needs to be deposed. <laughs> it's, it's no different than any, any politician that we've had in government, in any form of gov- government, whether it be a congressman, a senator, a governor, it doesn't matter. They're all corrupt, and, uh, you know, they're all just lining their own pockets, and uh, their only real interest in this world is to take care of themselves and their own. They do not care about the American people. Poli- the, being a politician has become a career in this country, and that's not the way that it was supposed to be. That's why I think we should do away with, with terms, period. They get one term, no stopped. re-election. It's got to be stopped. We've got to make a stand somewhere. And you know what? Uh, the Bundy Ranch has received enough media attention that I think that's a good place to start. I understand that these same things have gone on in other places, and I sympathize that those things have gone on in other places. However, what I must state unequivocally is that this has – gained media attention, has gained, gained national attention, when the American people go and stand up, and that is broadcast, because they're not going to have any choice but to share that, then uh, maybe anybody, that will make wake more people up. Is anybody recording all of, like, transcripts to take to the oversight committees? Of this, what, of this conversation? So when uh, this all goes down... And after the fact, and this becomes history, you have information to take to the courts to call for people. Uh, I didn't want to interrupt you necessarily there. Sorry to do that, brother. But uh, I'll just go ahead and say, yeah, it's 11.15 p.m. Central Standard Time. And uh, we've been recording this entire conversation. Uh, It's also a uh, playback number uh, is available right now. So grab a pen if you've chimed in recently and didn't get that before. Uh, It's area code 559 Seven two six one three nine nine, and the uh, audio key you're supposed to use is pound nine one eight eight pound, and that should get you an entire playback of this conversation. Uh, we're at actually eleven hours and fifteen minutes, and uh, we started a little early for just open air, so you'll have about three hours of conversation if we keep doing this. I'm unmuting. Sorry to interrupt you, buddy. Can you give that pound nine? Is it pound nine one eight eight pounds? That's correct. Okay, thanks. I just um, saw that before I called in, and it said it was unconfirmed. But well, the conversation is not over yet. I got a question. Unequivocally, without a doubt, I'm going to stand up for this man. Uh, why is this man special? This man is special because he got enough media attention that when we stand up for him, we might be able to make a difference or start trying to make a difference, which is something that, you know, most of us, if we're honest with ourselves, you know, we, uh, you know, we say we want to make a difference or whatever, but we really don't do a whole lot. So uh, I'm going to get in my car and I'm going to drive to freaking Nevada and I'm going to make a stand for this man. And uh, when I arrived there, uh, I feel that under my constitutional rights, I have, uh, I believe that I have the authority to take human life if necessary. Yep. On the recording of this here for the playback, I actually have came into an issue tonight. Is it? uh, Is there any other uh, way that this is going to be... um, put out there for people who ain't able to call in. For example, Magic Jack does not allow people to call in to talk or to listen in. And I know at least of one person 
that was interested from Northern California and at least listening in, and she was unable to. Um, will there be like a website or something that she'd be able to go to to access this? Uh, not that I can tell. I'm administering it. I haven't really used the HD version uh, before. To be honest, it was upon reference that I did this just because we've had uh, good feedback from other people. <laughs> um, the best I can recommend is if you want to go ahead and just uh, on Facebook, if you want to add me, man, just type in uh, the words free the people, all one word. Uh, I should pop up. And uh, if I can figure out a way to do that, I will. It looks like I should be able to pop this up on SoundCloud. So uh, let me see if I can break it down into a couple versions for SoundCloud. If uh, if I can get the MP3 of it, I can put it on Facebook. Wireless caller 8748, you're throwing me a lot of feedback, bro. I'm going to have to go ahead and mute you. All right, I appreciate that, Brian. And uh, I'm already, you got you on the list. Uh, with, I'm Polar Assault. Oh, what's up, Polar? Hey, brother. Um, yeah, yeah, hit me up on that as soon as... Uh, I have it available. I will let you know, man. Uh, I'm pretty slammed at work and other things, obviously, with this right now, but uh, I'll, I'll hit that to you as soon as I can. I'll probably just post it up for people that have been asking. All right. I appreciate that. Thank you. You bet, man. Stay in touch. Excuse me. Brian, hi. It's Randy. Um, I don't know if you guys saw it. I'm coming in late because I had my law call tonight, but are you guys aware that there's postings out there that three family members have been arrested already? Uh, some of that yeah. came up with varying, Pardon, degrees of, that correctly. varying degrees of confirmation on that. Um, we did, uh, Ryan, are you still around? Yeah. It, right, what was the intel on that earlier? I know the uh, the son got arrested and tased. I saw another gal got and tased in that video that was up yesterday. But uh, I'm not sure... Based on what do you know, if there's been at least three people that I saw from the video. I got a report from one of my listeners that three got arrested. One big man, it was all on video. One big man got tased, and he kept on getting tased, and it wasn't even bothering him. Uh, but it's heating up out there, and we have to have their backs. You know, that's okay. the bottom line with all Americans. Well, he got tased, but his cousin stepped on the wires and pulled him out of him. As he was getting tased, every time he got tased, uh, his cousin was standing right there, the guy in the red shirt on the video, and he was uh, stepping on the wires so they would be pulled out of him so that he wasn't subdued. Okay. Well, I'm just going to recommend bringing up some fire extinguishers, some extra... Uh, you know, body armor, maybe some tentage if you've got extras, you know, supplies. If you're heading out there, man, you might as well try to take a collection in the pool and let everybody around you know that you're heading out that way and do what we can to keep supporting each other because it looks like it's going to be, uh, you know, a, a, a camp out. It, it, the way uh, I say we should call we should call Leonard Skinner and just go ahead and have a new Woodstock. Now, uh, does everybody yeah. agree with me or do they know... The tasing of this man, he, you know, again, I, I haven't seen that. I got it by a couple of my listeners. Uh, the tasing of that man was the them drawing the first weapon. That was an act of war right there. That was an attack. Yeah, on these people. I agree. I concur. I agree. I concur. I concur. Yes and no. I concur it was an act of war. We've had many acts of war committed against us. However, for live fire response, that would have to have been an instant reaction to do so. Otherwise, they used non-lethal methods, which would give us cause to use non-lethal methods in subduing them and detaining them. It's called intimidation. It's called intimidation. You know, I mean, it's, that's what our government does. They intimidate us. They, uh, they, try, they hold us at bay, and they give us just enough or, or let us earn just enough to scrape by and squeak by so that we won't get pissed off and do anything about it. Your average American citizen is not going to, you know, revolt or, you know, give up everything he owns uh, to go live in the woods somewhere and then fight against a tyrannical government like our forefathers did. Your average American citizen is just not going to do that. He's too concerned about his, his car, his motorcycle, 
you know, his, his little house or, you know, watching football. Well, you know, what we have to, is, is, what, what we've got to, get to over accept that. is that even in the Revolutionary War, it was the same way. People are no different now than they were then. They only That's absolutely percent. correct. And during the, during the Revolutionary War, only 3% of the population actually participated. But you have also about one-third of the population supporting it. Look at 3% of our population now. There's what, uh, well, we said that a few minutes ago, 400 million, or what, 312 million, I'm not sure. But what's 3% of 400 million people? Approximately 9 million people. Yeah, that's the biggest army on the face of the planet. Yes, that army is useless when they have a failure to communicate with each other to be able to do things. As the gentleman said before about the um, command, in order, even though we can't have a national militia, the commanding officers of each of the militias do need to be contacting commanding officers of other militias in their state as well as other states. And I would have to say from my experiences in reviewing all of this and whatnot, that is a failure of at least about 90% of every militia. Well, as I stated when I first logged on, I'm not a member of a militia. I'm just, uh, I'm just an American citizen. I'm just a patriot. There you go. I'm an American Legion yep. rider. I don't need so to be part means... of a militia to stand up and do what's right. I'm so going to do means... what's right no matter what. That's this what Gary... I do. So that means if you are not a member of a regulated militia, then you are unregulated militia because you are a grown man of able body. I'm a private citizen. I'm a private citizen that lives by the Constitution. I'm right. a private you are citizen unregulated by the Constitution. Militia. And under the Constitution's laws, this guy is saying you are a militia. You may not be a part of a militia group, but you are a militia. Every able body. It's me, Paula. Right. All Americans you know, I, are part I, I, of the You know, I'm sorry, and this might piss some people off when I say this. Okay, but, you know, I mean, I, I know about militia groups in my state. I've been involved with some people like that, and and some of them are, I don't know, man, they're just they're a little off the wall, okay? I'm a private citizen. I'm an American I'm a patriot, and I believe in uh, my family and taking care of my family and preserving the Constitution and my way of life. And and I look at that above all other things, okay? Um, if, if you're between the ages of 17 and 45, not holding federal office, you are a member of the unorganized militia. That is no, I'm American. 50. Well, I thought it was 17 to 70. It doesn't matter. I mean, but, I mean I, I'm just a private citizen. I'm willing, I'm willing to get in my car at my own expense. I'm willing to get in my car at my own expense and drive over 1,000 miles from my home to stand up for this man. And I'm willing to do that. The only reason that I'm willing to do that is because I know that that's what needs to be done. It's right. You're right. It is right. It's the right thing to do. I mean, what, I don't want my children to grow up in a world where where uh, they have to conform to everything, where they have to compromise their values, where they have to lie to themselves to fit in. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't want to have kids because of that right now. Dude. That's what's stopping me from wanting to have kids is the knowledge of that. Well, it's too late for me. I already got kids, and they're almost grown. And um, you know what? I would sacrifice my life a thousand times over to stop them, my children, from ever feeling any pain or remorse. That's how if much I love trouble, my children. If there be trouble, let it be in my day so that my child may know peace. Absolutely correct. That is exactly what I'm saying. If there's going to be trouble, let me fucking deal with it now. Because you know what? I want my kids to have it good. 
I don't want my kids to have it hard. I had it hard. I love my children. I love my family more than anything in this world. And I will selfishly at any moment lay my life down to preserve that for them. And I say selfishly because it's very selfish of me to do that. It's not selfless. It's selfish. It's very selfish of me to do that because I want to take care of them, and that takes care of me. Do you understand? That's not yes, sir. In American. So I'm a selfish bastard, and I'm selfish because I want my children to be happy, and I want them to live in a free country. I want them to live by the freedoms that my forefathers set in place. I want them to have the freedoms that my parents and grandparents had, that none of us have anymore, that have been gone for 40 years, that none of us even realize because the government takes these little teeny baby steps and they condition us over time until we don't even know what freedom is anymore. I'm done with that. And that's exactly what happened. They've crept it up on us so people didn't see it coming. They started it with a small amount of taxes, then a bureaucracy here and a bureaucracy there. The next thing you know, we've got the Patriot Act and DHS. USM. And, 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 you know, it's just gotten worse and worse and worse and worse. And unless we stop it now, unless we stop this now, it's going to be too late. Don't forget the Brady Bill. I agree. I agree, absolutely. You know, and as I say... I am willing, without without even a second thought, I will, tomorrow, today, right now, I will lay my life down to fix the way things are. The principles in this country have changed. They've gotten all fucked up and in right. And I, and, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm a libertarian. I'm not Republican. I'm not Democrat. I don't force my values on anyone. I'm libertarian. Uh, Everybody should be able to do whatever the hell they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody. And that's the way I see it. And that's the kind of values we need to get back to. We need back to free market. The market should be free. I mean, Jesus Christ. Uh, We are so out of control. This country is so out of control. The politicians, uh, everyone involved is so out of control that it's, it's madness. That's why I wrote a, a, a plan. It deals directly with that issue, the corruption in our government at all levels. Can can Ooh. anyone hear me? Yes, yes sir, I can. Yes. Yes. Yep. Okay, I just yeah. wanted to make sure I was online. Hey, all Josh Adams, Colorado Southern Brigade, Glass Handler. <laughs> You know, it's uh... All right. Hey, sorry to interrupt, man. Uh, we were getting a lot of feedback, a lot of guys coming in and out. We're currently at 69 uh, people online. Again, our peak earlier was about 120. Um, this is being recorded, and just to uh, reference, if you need to get a playback on this call, it's been going for almost three hours, wait, you know, uh, three and a half hours now. Uh, the number you would want to write down to call back for playback is 559. 559- Seven two six one three nine nine, and you're going to press pound nine one eight eight pound, and you'll be able to listen to all this call if you uh, want to fast forward. All those capabilities are available. Um, oh yeah. Also, I need you guys to go ahead and press star six. It'll mute your phone. If you want to talk, you can press it again. It'll unmute your phone. But you know we've got a dog in the background. Somebody's hawking loogies. Somebody's eating a bag of chips. Uh, we're just trying to communicate and get some things done here. We're getting a lot of interference. If you guys could kind of tone it down a little bit, that'd be great. Just be considerate of this call. And we are unmuted. You guys want to come? Up to you. Can anybody hear me? Yes. 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 Awesome. Uh, hey, can I buzz in here? Absolutely. Yes, sir. Hi. Uh, name's James. I'm in South Georgia. I was just wanting to know what's going on. South Georgia? What part of South Georgia? Sir? Ron? What's going on on the ground out there now? Or, well, of course, it's 
probably dark, but what what's going on today? Hey, Georgia, you're a couple hours late, brother. Um, again, I just gave the information where you could go ahead and chime in and listen to what uh, we went over earlier, uh, but I'll give you like a brief if I can. Uh, we do have some boots on the ground that are there. Um, they, they say they're doing they're pretty steady. They don't have a, a lot of people there yet, but more people are be showing up. Uh, apparently, there may have been a couple of arrests. Uh, at least one was verifiable. Yes, there was tasing. Yes, there was a little bit of uh, action for a while, but it seems to have calmed down at this point. But we realize that now uh, sheriffs are getting involved. And as far as approximations, I, I, I mentioned earlier, there's about 15 to 20, if not more, states that uh, raise their death count level amongst the militias. Um, they're just trying to gather the same as you, man. We just want to know what's going on and how we can help. Uh, we're recommending that anybody is heading out that way immediately contact the, uh, the commanding officer that's taken over on there. His name's Ryan. They'll point you in the right direction. Uh, if you can't catch them, uh, we're trying to get people lined up with their constitutional uh, county sheriffs. Uh, possible, at least get close to Richard Mack when he gets out there. Um, he's going to be doing a little bit of instigating, but uh, he's won Supreme Court's rulings in the past where sheriffs had to push the feds out of their county because they are the constitutional authority. So we've got that going for us. Um, that's our best recommendation. If you know anybody who's headed out there, just recommend to bring extra food and supplies. Don't recommend any kids. And if you're going armed, man, just stand down and behave yourself and, uh, you know, follow the, com uh, you know, the command structure. These guys know what's going on. Don't come in there hot and heavy and uh, get all retarded. All right, thank you, sir. We have guys headed that way, but what uh, what's Ryan's name? Ryan who? You know, I didn't actually catch that. Can somebody else chime in? He's looking I, for uh, Brian Lytle. This is Brian Lytle in Walker, Louisiana. Oh, my bad. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm, no, no. We're we're way far away from Nevada. But, uh, no, not too bad. We, no, we're, I not was talking bad. about the contact there in Nevada. Yeah, no. Gotcha. Yeah. So, sorry, Chair, Ryan. Ron UAMAC, Chairman. His name is Ryan Payne, P-A-Y-N-E. All right. Thank you, sir. I'll mute myself, and y'all carry on. Yep. 10-4. Hey, Eric, good chiming in on there, brother. Quick question. Hey, Eric, this is Josh. Who's a... Hello? Mike Hyman? Okay, hang on. Uh, who's who's kind of running this call here? I heard Eric in there. Who's uh who's the main guy that we're talking with here? Brian. Uh, uh, Brian. Check. I know. I'm talking on the phone here. Wolfpack. Brian Ducek. He's running the call. All right. Outstanding. Outstanding. Eric, you know me, so we're good enough there. Roger that, sir. Hey, quick question. Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I hear. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you, ma'am. Uh, we're going to go ahead and try to do this one at a time. Uh, Josh, you were the last guy that was trying to get a thumbs up. Did you have anything to say? Uh, no, I'm just trying to get, uh, you know, I've been kind of out of contact due to a uh, class that I was in, so I'm just trying to catch up here on what's going on, getting a lot of it from right. the uh, from the chat and uh, just kind of listening in here. I'll try to right, you have any questions for cool. me, please feel free to let me know. Uh, yeah, it'll come up. Uh, we, we, we had a lady that tried chiming in. I'm going to go ahead and let the lady go first, ma'am. We can barely hear you, so if you could speak up, let's go ahead and let the lady talk. Hi, my name is Susie Price. I have a Facebook page, um, and I also work for Operation American Spring. I want to let you know that I, am, I live in Nevada. I live in northern Nevada. I have contacted my state senator. He is flying down to Las Vegas today. And I sent him this information with his phone uh, information, um, and his name is Senator Don Gustafson. Um, I don't know if he's going to make it out there, but he might. Um, he's a Republican in the state of Nevada. All right, 10-4, that does help out. Uh, whoever else is able to take notes, feel free to help us uh, help her get in more touch with people. Uh, Operation America Spring. I would love to get a hold of Valeli and some of his boys right about now. I've got a I quick question. I have word out to them for your information. All right, ma'am. Uh, I'm going to tell you to interject real quick. If uh, if you guys don't know me, I'm the one hosting the call. Uh, real easy to find on Facebook if you can, ma'am. If you're on there, just type in the words "free the people," all one word, and I should pop right up. 
Um, feel free to add me and get, get back to me after this call. Uh, by the way, the playback will not work until this call is over, so I'm going to have to shut it off, turn it back on with the same number, and uh, the, the broadcast playback number will be back up. Uh, but can you give the playback uh, information again, please? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, jot this down. It's uh, area code 559-726-1399. Yep, and I'm getting an audio key, which I'm assuming you have to enter it in. Sorry, this is the first time I've used it, but the directions are to give you pound 9188 and then pound. Pound 9188, pound 9188, pound. Uh, the number that you're on, if you want to jot this down, uh, the number that you're on, if you don't have it in front of you again, is uh, the 559 area code again. Same prefix, uh, 726. The last four digits, 1300 is the call we're on. Uh, we're using host... Uh, um, sorry, participant code is uh, two seven six one two five. If you want to keep passing that out, we're going to leave this room open as long as it's being used. Um, I'm going to chime in as often as I can and try to moderate. Uh, it might get a little stinky if I'm not around, but uh, as often as I can, I'll help moderate and uh, you know you turn down the volume and whatnot. How much? In how much? In um, just bear with me. We came to the call late, and I didn't realize you were running for three hours. How much intel is there in the beginning of the call? We're inbound, so. I'm sorry, you, uh, you phased out on me there. Could you speak up a little bit? How much intel is there in the front of the call? You know, it's... This, this what, what, three, sorry. Oh, Madge, Georgia. You know, at this point, I would have to say what is confirmable anymore, you know. We've got 15 points that we could look at, you know, but uh, luckily we do have a gentleman that, you know, does have boots on the ground to go over it again would be kind of monotonous for everybody who's yeah, been here so long. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So the best thing for us to do is to pass out the playback for the call. So I can pass that information out as well, right? And the, my guys that might be coming in behind us can listen to the playback. Yeah, to be honest, my brain tried to wrap around what you just asked me. Um, we're using the same number, so when we hang right. up this call, then that playback number will work playback. for that. Okay. Roger that. Thank you. But what's gonna what what might happen is a little bit of a, a, a time warp here, <laughs> where uh, a conversation later, if you're trying to listen to this callback, you might be getting the the the, the latest callback before the hangup. Does that make sense? Right. Does that make sense? Like the last co the next conversation we have might be the one that's next on the playback. Does that make sense? Yeah. My recommendation would be this. I'm, yeah, uh, I'm loading up as if I'm going to war. Uh, so I'm taking, uh, you know, pretty You're much... You're full I can hear you rattling from here, bro. Pretty much everything I have, I'm going to load it in my back of my car. And I'm going to drive to, uh, you know, the Bundy Ranch uh, come Monday. you mind coming back to this conversation and keeping us posted, man? What do you mean? Hey, Brian, I got one real quick thing before the end of this call. Let me, let me wrap it up with brother. I just mean uh, anytime you can, man, you chime in on this phone number and call the conference call. We'll be here waiting for you. Can you all hear me? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, just run. I'm in Texas. Um, I'm at 3% uh, VOG, Constitution Security Force. I was just, I was just listening in. Um are y'all going? Did you say you're going to hang this call up? And are we supposed to call it back? Well, this conversation's been. Let me re-explain. This is a conference call. It's being recorded. Okay. If we're staying on the conference call, there is no playback for anybody else who's trying to hear the beginning of this conversation until we hang up. Okay. Now, this runs in in uh, lengths of approximately five hours. <laughs> we started this at eight central. It's eleven forty two central. Okay. So Chris, I'm going to eventually, yes, part. have to hang up. So there's something for people to hear in the callback, and we'll just chime right in, most likely on a, every five hours. If, uh, if you know, it might go off in a while, but I, I assure you, call back again, and this number will be running, and we'll have, you know, we had a peak of about almost 120 people on this call earlier, and it's yeah. died down to uh, we're flowing between 60 and 70 now. But I, the way I, I wanted to offer this was people could chime in as as long as this problem's going on. You know, if this does turn into a, uh, you know, malicious standoff, catch-22, whatever it turns into, I want to be able to have people to use this as a hub to reference to 
and, and, and give other people some direction so at least we can get as many people as we can on the same page. Does that make sense? Yes. Hey, quick right. quick question if I can. Go ahead, guys. You guys are being real courteous. I appreciate everybody being patient and being cool to each other. Go ahead, man. Oh, okay. Listen, uh, Jack Martin, I'm a, a pastor in Florida. You were talking Hi, about you. How doing? You were talking about getting this out. If this can be downloaded as an MP3 after the call, I can put it on Facebook where you could have a. I mean, on YouTube where you could have a link that anybody could get it out that way. If that would help spread it even more. Yeah, and if anybody's got the capability to, to record this as we go or whatever, you know, segments can go out, but. I'm trying to get a master copy out. <clears throat> I've asked uh, you know, anybody who wants that to go ahead and add or follow me on <clears throat> Facebook. I'll be posting it up uh, as soon as I can get that done. Um, <clears throat> it looks like I have that capability, to be honest. This is the uh, first time using the uh, HD version of this program. So uh, I'm sure it's similar to the regular version, but uh, I'll do my best to get that going. Uh, I told people earlier uh, there's a playback number. That, that's what we were just discussing. So you can hear the beginning of this conversation, which was uh, – Quite a few years ago. Hi, Florida. Um, does that answer your question, sir? Yeah, yeah. And like I said, I'll I'll, I'll add you on the free the uh, free the people part because if I can get it, for I'm not hard to Okay, if I can get it, I'd be three. I I've recently surpassed five thousand. I'm gonna have to drop some uh, keyboard cowboys and uh, add some new patriots. Obviously, that I've been in contact with over the last seventy two hours, no. and such as yourself. And thank you everybody for being on this call. Uh, anybody else had any other question? We can try to accommodate. This yeah, is I Brian Lytle, uh, Walker, Louisiana. Louisiana, how are you doing, man? We were talking earlier. Yeah, yes, sir. Uh, um, I'm a member of my local militia, and uh, I need uh, just a little bit of advice as far as what we're supposed to do on down in the dirty south. I mean, uh, obviously, we can't just pack up and roll out, but what can we do to be proactive to, uh, you know, help in some way, shape, or form, whether it be, you know, just putting the voice out or, you know, if we if we have to rally up and send as many members as we can to go ahead and stand on the forefront, um, what would be your suggestion? Because obviously you're militia as well. Um, yeah, brother. You know, you know, the best I can chime in is, you know, each state handles their own, but, you know, those are pretty much the rules. That What we're kind of worried about is uh, what's been spoken of earlier. We're not sure if there have been people heading out there that have may or may not have been arrested. Uh, that's the rumor that there's a potential for that. Uh, we don't have any confirmation. All I know is I, I'm, I can't help to have a heart out for people that may be headed that way, that may be getting arrested, which is only a rumor as of now. Um, I would recommend, you know, being uh, discreet, calm, cool, and collect as uh, uh, possible. You know, avoid any unconstitutional searches and seizures the best you can and stay legit as you can if you are heading down there. Um, there, there is support heading down that way. We can confirm that for sure. Uh, as far as accurate numbers, I don't think anybody could really total that at the moment. Um, you know, it could be varying based on what I've heard. You know, at least six different states are trying to get people down there. But there's varying numbers. We don't know. We do have boots on the ground. That's going to chime in uh, again tomorrow, uh, hopefully on this phone call uh, when when they're around Richard Mack. Uh, all we know is as much as you know, it's been tense. Um, you know, there are snipers out there. Uh, you know, cameras have uh, eyes on the camp, uh, and the camp has eyes back on the snipers. And uh, we are recommending people to come out there. I, I personally recommend, you know, trying to push. As, as brutal as this sounds to some ears that really are trigger happy right now, I, I assure you I have just as much frustrations and uh, uh, a tendency for violence, but I choose to be a sheepdog and protect the people. I'm not much of a, an instigator. I, I think the uh, big idea right now is to have these people come in peaceful, uh, find the, the, the highest chain of command they can, which we've established. Uh, you can listen on the playback of this call, a gentleman by the name of Ryan, uh, as well as Richard Mack and some of his people from CISPA are going to be up there. Highly recommend getting in touch with the sheriffs um, and, and obviously the locals. Do what the locals want you to do, man, because this is not your territory to come out, you know, hot and heavy and start problems. You know, you need to be as lawful no, and courteous as possible. And just show my some organization and bring is, is not offensive at all. I mean, we're purely defensive, but at the same That's time, what it's all about, bro. our brothers and, and sisters are, are hurting. 
May I speak? I'd like to respond to the gentleman. Look, uh, you say you're not uh, you're not uh, offensive at all. You're, you know, you're just about you know you want to take care of your own. And I understand that. Uh, That's perfect. Not necessarily. And, 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 and that, that makes a lot of sense. However, I didn't say I didn't say that I want to take care of my own. I said we're purely defensive. Defensive. That's what I'm talking about. That's the whole deal. In this situation, you can be that. You just have to be there. You can still be defensive, but you have to be there. Could I uh, could I get in there just for a minute? Please do. Okay, this is uh, Hiram Madge. I'm uh, the XO for uh, CSF, Group Stamp, DOG. Uh, and I just wanted to let you know that our heart goes out to you out there. Uh, and we've got actually at least one, not sure how many, but uh, one of our teams has got a, is on their way out there, and uh, so hopefully if nothing else, there can be some more eyes and ears for y'all out there. Uh, and anyway, I just want to let you know that I don't know how long I'll be able to stick around, but uh, our... No problem. Again, you know, we're trying to leave this actual number open so that people can utilize this number as a hub. You know, we can get the... I don't know how long I can keep... stick around. We're all, on the, same, we're all on the same team, man. All on the same yeah, team. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I was just trying and, to say tomorrow the gig, or the next day. That's the reality of it. This will still that's be the on in the next few days. No matter what it takes, no matter how long it takes, we have to be there. Can I interject something? Do it. Um, you may want to put a time and date stamp about every 15 minutes on this for the audio. Yeah, if I have time to edit, I will, man. Otherwise, this is just going to be segmented into three why, five why is that what what for the library of congress or or for the 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 federal court matter that might come up later i'm not sure why you asked that question well this is pretty well, historic and it's kind of nice to have these kind of people all on the same page and trying to qual a situation before situation. it turns into something yeah it's mm-hmm. a lot of different folks going on but i mean I mean, I think that the one thing that we all have in common, we all have one common thread. That one common thread is that we believe in the Constitution of the United States of America and that we believe in upholding that Constitution and that many, many of us took an oath to uphold that Constitution against any threat, foreign or domestic. That's what this is about. It's not about any of that other shit that anybody else is bringing up. That's what it's about. My question is this. How many people are left on the call? How many people are left on this call? 57. I, I'm still here. Brian and Walker, Louisiana, I'm still here. No, no. How many people are left on this call? I'm here. Uh, I'm, I'm, looking at, I'm here. Eric I'm from UA, Mac. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Okay. Well, how many people left on this call? I'm here in Indiana. How many people left on this call? to stand up. How many people left on this call? to stand up and sacrifice their life, no matter what, they're willing to sacrifice everything they own, everything they are, to take care of their children's future. That's what I want to know. I, I do it. I do it. Sir, sir, I think you're you're speaking to a bunch of patriots, not a bunch of patriotic people. I think you're speaking to a bunch of patriots. I think that anybody that took the time to dial this number, God, I has, hope so, has I, I, the gumption to make the call, to listen in, to chime in, and to be standing at the ready to do whatever that they can. To help Thank you, this sir. situation. I, 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 I have to agree. This and are you is, willing? And are you, sir, are, sir, are you willing? Are you willing to get in your car tomorrow and drive to Nevada, no matter what the consequence, to stand Pardon up for our rights? Pardon, I can't afford the gas to get there. Go well, to where you at? So, where you so, at? I'll pick you up. You can go with me. I'm in Walker, Louisiana. 
I have a business mm. run. I have children to support. I have children to protect. And it would be... Okay. It would well, be... Back to my hair front 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 front. You know what the best way you can protect and support those children is? The best way you can protect and support those children is get your goddamn sir. car and drive to Nevada right now. The best I have the same that. situation that Not you do. Not while you're drunk. Gentlemen, gentlemen, we should, we should talk one at a time now. Come on. Right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. The best, the best speaker starts as a listener. Yes, sir. Uh, and I am willing. I am willing to do what I have to do when the shit hits the fan. Yeah, but scenario. you're gonna wait till the shit hits the fan. We, that's where we're fucked. It's it's the shit is already hitting the fan. We just don't know it. No, we may, don't I, know. may I interject for a minute? Please. You have to formulate a better plan than just driving to Nevada. May I interject for a minute? Absolutely. Okay. To answer the first question, what will you do? Will you get in your car tomorrow? Will you drive there? Will you put it all on the line? My answer. Yes, sir, I will. My answer, I'm leaving tomorrow after work. I will, because I have to wait for my paycheck, which I get tomorrow. I am heading directly to Nevada, with or without co-drivers, with or without somebody assisting in the gas. I am taking all my bug-out gear. I am taking a four-month supply of food for one person with me. If I don't show up at work on Monday morning, I don't have a job. Within a week or two later, I don't have a house nor all my stuff in my house. Yes, I, I, know, I will I give up everything to go do this right here, and I will gamble anything and everything to go do this right here. To the gentleman who's got a business to run and a child and wife to take care of and to defend, do you want to defend them as your door is getting kicked in, or would you rather meet them in the field of battle while your children are safe at home? You have to decide what every single one of us needs to do. To now, make a difference. now to continue, for the gal that said we need a better plan, there is no better plan than what's going on. You just missed the plan. The plan is those that are showing up armed, that is, as militia or as independent citizens willing to step into the position of militia. For those that don't realize they are militia, you show up at the Bundy Ranch. You report to Ryan Payne or whichever one that he's delegated to report to as more people show up and he becomes too overwhelmed to get to each individual person. Once you show up there and do that, you will then be set up with, depending on the numbers and how it's done, with what group you're going to be standing with, who's going to be the spokesperson for that group that's going to go up, and there's your chain of command. This has all been put in place. For those of you that want more information on such similar stuff, You can go look up Google uh, Operation Mutual Aids, or you can go on to Facebook and find Jerry Brukhart, that's B-R-U-C-K-H-A-R-T, OMA, O-M-A, 3, I-I-I, for three percenters. You can keep up to date with what's going on on his page. This has been planned out. This has been condoned by the Bundys. There are three campsites there already for the people that are showing up. They're prepared to bring in supplies and water and other stuff for the people that don't have their own. However, obviously, being responsible for ourselves as we all are as patriots instead of depending on others, we try to bring what we can. If all we can bring is our lives and our guns, then, hey, that's what other people are there to help up for. When we can bring a little bit of extra, great. Okay, I don't have extra food, so I'm going to bring two tents. Awesome, because I'm sure people are showing up without tents. The plan is there. Thank you. Thank you, well, sir. Can I, can Look, I, can I, I commend you. Me? I commend you for your stance and for what you're doing. My regional Thank commander has not said it's time to roll that way. It's not going to be. Are you on the way there? Though? Yeah, no, wait. No. I got to ask. Uh, I understand everything you said, and I commend you for everything you said. Are you on the way? I am leaving Tulsa, Oklahoma, Friday, the 11th, sometime between, uh, sometime, I don't want to say between, but sometime after 6 p.m. Okay, and, and I appreciate that, and I commend you for it. 
I will be leaving Indianapolis, Indiana on next Wednesday. That's as soon as I can get out of here. But I will be on my way there, and I will make a stand. Hey, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Don't finish that thought. Um, I need you guys to go ahead and press star and then six to mute out your phone. We're getting a lot of feedback, a lot of echoes. Uh, Unless you intend to chime in in the next second, just go ahead and press star six so you're not causing any feedback. Just show us some common courtesy. We've been doing really well so far. Uh, Sorry to chime in and do that for you. Um, We're turning this bad boy back on. I want to, I want to say good night. I'm just saying that I will be leaving from Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, Tuesday or Wednesday of this week, and I'll be there in 16 or 18 hours. Drive straight through. I'll be right there. 